guys. How's it going? Am I your first one? Yeah. Yes. yes. Good. I set the bar. No pressure. <laughs> Uh, I've been, so far from the scripts that I'm reading, the thing that most moves me and that is most compelling to me is the Nora West Allen storyline. Uh, she has some really great scenes with, with Grant uh, in, in the first few episodes. And it's just, um, without revealing too much, it's a dynamic that, uh, that just, it, it gets me in some really emotional places. Um, and so I look forward to seeing how they explore that and seeing sort of how it comes out when it airs. Yeah. What about Cisco? What about Cisco? I don't know. What about Cisco? Cisco is uh, Cisco's in pain. Yeah. He uh, he's fresh from from a breakup. Uh, I think at the beginning of season five, he hasn't really had the time to process the breakup yet. So he's being a little irresponsible, I think, generally, so I think uh, fans can expect a bit of a learning curve on his part with regards to his being able to move on from the breakup. Uh, however, I think both Caitlin and Ralph see this as an opportunity to try to help their friend, so there are definitely some hijinks in store with regards to Cisco moving on from the breakup. Gonna explore his powers in another way. Uh, I will say that Cisco's powers will be challenged in a way that they've never been challenged before, in a very unique and um, perilous way. Yeah. Is he gonna be more secure now with the powers? Because at some point he was like, you know, like he didn't want to use them. Mm -hmm. So is he gonna be more? I think he's definitely at a place uh, where he's comfortable with his powers and he's confident uh, using his powers for good out in the field to help Barry and help the team and help save Central City. Uh, but I also think that he feels a certain um, allegiance to the to the cortex, because I think working with computers, working with weaponry, working with suits, working with naming the villains, I think that's the stuff that he's really good at, you know? And even though he's self-aware and confident with his abilities out in the field, I think there is still a part of him that feels that maybe his his comfort zone is more inside Star Wars, you know what I mean? Yeah. When it comes to those... When it comes to those uh, new names and new devices and new suits, uh, can you uh, tease us for anything? Yes. Uh, there is. Uh, I'm trying to make this as vague as possible. There is a new suit. I'm not going to say whose suit it is, but there is some form of a new suit coming very early on in season five. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> what went through your mind when you read the first script, the first episode of the season? I thought it was good. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty strong for a, a season five opener. Um, new, um, new problems are, are, are presented. Um, Time-tested relationships are tested in a unique way. Um, like I said, the introduction of Nora is like is, is a big part of it. But also, you know, to have uh, Hartley and Danny Nicolay and Jessica be a regular part of our show, I think that imbues our dynamic with a different color. It's, it makes the energy on set feel different, and I think it's a fresh energy that we like and that we need right now. So I'm I'm excited to explore more of that. Yeah. Sorry, bro. Time. Crunch, crunch not timing. Go ahead. All right, sorry. So one hundred is coming. Can you yeah. expect something? Big? You can expect Tom Cavanaugh to direct it. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> For the hundred. Thank you guys. For the hundred. Yep. Thank you guys. Sorry about that. Thank you guys.